Well, Christ, kid. The one thing I can say is I never expected you to respond. I really didn't. Somehow, I figured you would get it and then just move on. But um, I guess I gave you too much credit. So, all right, let's see what you got here. This is getting ridiculous. Very ridiculous here. One thing that's always consistent with people like Zephyrnix and MLD is, is they spew the same shit over and over again after fact is being shown in their face. Okay, well, if I am spewing the same bullshit over and over again after the fact they're throwing my face, right? That's what you said? Well, here's the thing. One, I don't think I've ever made a video about a survey before, as far as I can remember. So, how is this the same shit over and over again if this is the first time I've ever making a video on a survey? Number two, if I actually did, um, and I'm forced to repeat myself, it's obviously because you guys are too stupid to understand the mere simplicity of what I'm saying. Number three, I don't think I've actually met a fanboy yet who's actually had facts. You are being one of them, which I will explain in a minute. Now, <clears throat> Zephyrnix wants to try to uh, point out my video and say it should be taken down, that it's valid because it's, it's invalid because it's a survey. Because he wasn't part of the survey or him and his friends. Well, guess what? If you guys are part of that survey, Xbox's failure rates would be a little bit higher. So now, he wants to downplay this whole survey saying, Surveys are not good because it didn't take everyone. There's never been a survey where you take everyone. Surveys are representative samples. Representative samples with the same distortion and the same error. Yes, well, here's the problem with what you just said. You said it was a sample, but before you said it was a fact. So is it a sample or a fact? A fact or a sample? Which one is it? You said you threw through a fact in my face, so you're saying it was a fact, but now you're saying it's a sample. Which one, Flip Flopper? Which one is it? Is it a sample or a fact? It cannot be both. That's like going to the library and looking for a book that's both fiction and non and nonfiction. It's not going to work. You have to be one or the other. Okay. Now a bad or a biased sample is when not all characteristics are reflected within the sample. Okay. You ca you you stand with me there, Zephyrnix? Because I know you're less than intelligent. Because after watching that video, I think I just anyway. Yeah, wise so, choice. A good representative sample is when all characteristics in the sample population, okay, is reflected with the same distortion and the same error as I've said a few seconds ago. Alright? You can't downplay this survey. There was over five hundred thousand people in it. Okay? The more people you have, the more accurate it is. Okay, so you're talking about how that I can't downplay that survey. Um, here's the thing. Now by your words, you said that it had five hundred thousand people in it, right? 500,000 people isn't even a lot of people. It's not a lot of people. Broaden your horizons. It's not even a lot of people. That's one. Number two, if that survey was done with 500,000 people and Xbox 360 has 30 million Xbox 360 users, well, let's see. It's Xbox 360 owners, I meant. But let's see. So that's about, you have about a 1 16th of a chance. No, 1 60th of a chance, not 16th. 1 60th of a chance of that survey actually being correct, which means that you have about 16% of that survey, um, chance of that survey being correct. Yeah. I'm not downplaying it, it's downplayed itself. Okay. You see how uh, Game Informer a while back only did a 4,000 person survey? There was a lot, a big percent error on there. It could have been a lot higher or it could have been a lot lower. There was 500,000 people in this survey, so it's getting a lot closer to the real number. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute here. So, you just said that um, the closer, more people we get, we're getting closer and closer to the accurate number, am I correct? The accurate number? But in the beginning of the video, you said that the thing about um, people like me and, M and MLD is that you continuously throw fact in our face. You know, we oh no, excuse me. You said that we continuously spill the same bullshit, even though we throw fact in our, and even though you throw fact in our face. So. How is it that the number, you said we get more accurate. So how, that means the number is not accurate. So how is it that you're throwing fact in my face and you're not even giving me an accurate number? It's got, I mean, a fact and accurate, they kind of go hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. A fact means something that cannot be disputed. And yet, if you're not giving me an accurate, um, an accurate number, then I guess it's not fact, then is it? I'm telling you, middle school stuff, I'm not even trying. You want a uh, more exact number? Get another 500,000. Oh, wait though, wait, wait. I shouldn't need another number because if it's in fact, if this was fact as you stated in the beginning of your video and in your last video, if this is facts, 
then there should not be a reason for me to get another number, is there? Okay, that's how samples work, that's how surveys work. Representative samples, all right? Now, what's your excuse, Zephyrnix, for Microsoft, for, let's say, let's say the survey did take place from beginning to end, beginning to now, I mean, okay? What's your excuse for Microsoft having all those systems break? What's wait, your excuse? Wait, 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 what? I asked wait, MLD too. Anyone who's willing to step up, what's your excuse wait, for wait, having wait, them on. break all their consoles like that? Huh? What? Launch consoles about ninety percent or more broke within the within a half a year. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna say to defend it? Sony's uh, console didn't break. Uh uh no 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 no. Wii's console no, didn't no. break. Cut, Nintendo's cut, console cut, didn't break. Cut cut cut. What's okay. Microsoft's excuse? I'm waiting. This I'm has waiting. nothing I'm to do one with the ROD or anything like that. This video is about the fact that you cannot take a survey and think it's the gospel according to Luke. Because there are too many variables in there to take it that way. And that's exactly how you were taking it as, the, uh, as a fact in your video. In the beginning of your video, you said this. This is getting ridiculous, very ridiculous here. One thing that's always consistent with people like Zephyrnix and MLD is, is they spew the same shit over and over again after fact is being shown in their face. But now you're calling it a sample. So which one is it? Is it a fact as you stated in the beginning of your video and your other video, or is it just a sample? Well, the truth is, of course, it's a sample, but that does not make it fact. In fact, a sample does not make anything, anything, just mere sample. It's not even worth newscasting. I'm not even sure why they really even did it. Oh, I'm pretty sure to get a rise out of fanboys like you, who were dumb enough to sit there and follow it and try to claim it as the gospel according to Luke or Matthew, Mark, John, Acts, Romans, whatever. Pick a Bible. Pick a Bible chapter. It doesn't matter. You know, and I, I don't know. I'm done. I mean, it's come to the point right now where you might as well just start saying I'm right. You know, at least KJB could say I'm right. He could say it. Granted, he's like a broken record in all five of his responses. Oh, Zephanix, you're right. You're right. Zephanix, 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 Zephanix, you're right. You're right. Zephanix. Yeah, but at least he was man enough to say I was right. So points where points need to be given, right? Point in case, yeah, you can't take surveys like the gospel, and that's all this was. This has nothing to do with being a fanboy. This has nothing to do with the Xbox 360. Granted. Um, the survey was about it, but my video had nothing to do with being an Xbox 360 fanboy or anything like that. It was all about that you cannot take surveys seriously. I mean, that's just it. No more, no less. You guys have a good night. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Which system breaks down on you the most? Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, Sony PlayStation 3 breaks down on me. Does it break down on me? Hmm. Nintendo Wii? Huh, does that break down on me? Does that system break down on me? Hmm, not much. Xbox 360? And eh, it breaks down sometimes. It's definitely been known, you know. Or Visual Concepts Planet Funkatron. Oh, you know what? I hate Planet Funkatron. I really do. I can't stand Planet Funkatron. So, yeah, I'm going to click on that. E even though, you know, I've actually never owned the Planet Funkatron and it's not even a system. But you know what? I don't like it anyway. I really don't. So I'm going to go ahead and, yep, I'm going to go ahead right now and just click on it.